Milwaukee announced new power tools. So the Dual and Ryobi. We go hands on with the most powerful battery powered pressure washer ever. We've got three battery blowers, cheap and expensive saws, F1 wheel guns, titanium wrenches, grinders, sprayers, tractors, and more. Plus another platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. This is the Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah, that's Rob, and that crazy wildling was one of our production crew members, Austin Patrick. If you'd like to join our production crew, look for the join button after you subscribe. And we're starting this week's Tool News with Ryobi, who just announced an all-new inverter for their 80-volt platform. This is the all-new Ryobi 80-volt 1,000-watt power source. It's an inverter for use with the 80-volt batteries found in their lawnmowers and tractors. It boasts 1,800 starting watts and 1,000 running, delivered through one USB-C port, two USB-A ports, and two 120-volt outlets. Its pure sine wave tech delivers safe and clean power to sensitive electronics, so you can power phones, laptops, batteries, appliances, fans, lights, TVs, fridges, and that's it. Nothing else. Just kidding. It'll power a ton of stuff just plugging it into your Ryobi 80 volt battery. Or if you have one of their mowers, you can plug this directly into the mower's charging port and power the inverter off of three 80 volt batteries at once. Imagine plugging your lawnmower into your fridge to keep it running through an outage. Welcome to 2024. The new Ryobi 80 volt 1000 watt power source will be available this month for $279. DeWalt also announced an expansion of their electrical trade portfolio this week, launching three new tools. First up is the DeWalt 20 volt max hydraulic knockout tool, the DCE 600. It delivers up to 11 tons of force output, performing heavy duty applications in a lightweight design. The knockout dies contain embedded magnets that securely attach to mild steel. The tool punch has split slugs ranging from one half to two inches, making it easy to disassemble the system once a knockout is complete. The tool promises versatility with an inline design, 180 degree rotating head, and ability to set up the punch and die system without the weight of the tool. It also has a bright LED ring light, shoulder strap, as well as a Tool Connect chip pocket to connect with the Tool Connect Site Manager app for tracking. The new DeWalt 20 volt max hydraulic knockout tool is available for pre-order for $15.99. Next up is the new DCS 378 P1 20 volt max XR mid-size bandsaw. It features a 3 and 3 8 inch cut capacity powered by strong brushless motor rated at 535 MWO at 570 SFPM. It has an integrated blade guard, variable speed trigger and dial, built-in LED, attachment point for a lanyard, and it promises up to 120 cuts through 12-gauge strut with a 5-amp-hour battery. The new bandsaw is available now for $469 in a 5-amp-hour kit. And last of all, DeWalt also announced the DCS 379 P1, which is just like the new 378, except the 79 has a dual trigger setup, so you can guarantee your crew will use two hands when they operate it. Workers will hate it, but their bosses will appreciate the lower insurance premiums. It's available now as well for a $50 premium over the 378. There is a huge skilled labor gap in the trades, and DeWalt is determined to do something about it. They just announced their Grow the Trades grant recipients this week, and in total, they're granting $30 million over the next five years to support organizations that are skilling, reskilling, and upskilling tradespeople. Their goal is to help close the skilled trades gap by providing greater accessibility and resources for trades training to empower the pros of the future. The winners span 19 states, the District of Columbia, and Europe. They were selected by a very competitive application process based on their trades-focused initiatives, providing certifications and credentials to skilled tradespeople. The 2023 recipients include Micro Works Foundation, Helmets to Hard Hats, Women Who Weld, and many, many more. The DeWalt Grow the Trades grant program will reopen for applications this May. To learn more about their program or to apply for your own grant, head over to DeWalt.com slash Grow the Trades. After an unusual two-week hiatus, Milwaukee's back with new tools this week. Let that sentence sink in, guys. This time they dropped two M12 tools on us, starting with this awesome new Milwaukee M12 brushless one and a quarter inch to two inch copper tubing cutter. It promises fast and clean cuts while automatically adjusting diameter to cut type KL and M copper pipes from one and three eighths inch to two and one eighths inch outer diameter. It'll make over a hundred cuts on a single XC 4.0 battery. It has a rotating head and its compact size can work with as little as 1.7 inches of clearance. And it's one handed operation makes it super easy to use. Milwaukee says this is the first battery power tool with a cut capacity up to two inches on copper pipes. It also has a built-in LED light and a view window so you can hit your exact cut line. 
The new Milwaukee 2479 M12 brushes one and a quarter inch to two inch copper tubing cutter will arrive in May for $399 bare. Milwaukee also launched their new M12 fuel five and three eighths inch circular saw. It boasts a 4,500 RPM, no load speed, an electric motor brake, and can use their five and three eighths inch or five and a half inch blades. It has an aluminum shoe, dust blower, dust pour, and an integrated hang hook. This little guy will be perfect for ripping and cross cutting sheet goods and dimensional lumber. You can expect up to 190 cuts in two by four lumber on a single XC50 battery. The new Milwaukee 2521 M12 fuel five and three eighths inch circular saw will be available in May for $159 bear or $259 in a 5 amp hour kit. Ego surprised their fans with a new pressure washer this year and just like their new vac, this Ego didn't just fill an empty spot in their lineup, it's coming in setting all new standards for the industry. This is the Ego Power Plus 3200 PSI pressure washer. Powered by their 56 volt arc lithium batteries, it comes in with some fairly typical numbers up front, like 3200 PSI, which is more than reasonable, and 1.2 gallons per minute, which is what we've grown to expect from an electric pressure washer. But as with most Ego tools, this one has a turbo button, and when you press it, the pressure washer suddenly bursts to a ridiculous two gallons per minute, firmly placing it in gas territory. With a battery, people. It includes a high pressure hose, quick connect short pressure washer gun, quick connect wand lance, stainless steel wand, foam cannon, filter, a 15 degree, 25 degree, 40 degree turbo and rinse nozzles. It'll run on the two included six amp hour batteries for up to 60 minutes on eco and 15 minutes on turbo. Mobile auto detailers are absolutely loving this thing. And quite frankly, I haven't used my gas model since we got this. We've got cars and bikes to wash. Um, ignore the rain, it's been a bit since we've had a nice day here. And living out in the woods, we're constantly power washing our siding, stone, and concrete. And we absolutely love being able to take this anywhere on the property and get the job done, because it even includes a siphon hose so we can take this thing where even our garden hose won't reach. If you're already on the Ego platform, this is almost a no-brainer. It's available now for $7.99, but that includes two six amp hour batteries, which cost $350 each on their own. So for a hundred bucks more than buying two batteries, you can have this amazing pressure washer too. You can find it today at Lowe's or your favorite Ego dealer. Now there were a ton of great tool videos you might have missed this week, starting with Mark Thomas Builder. Mark wondered what would happen if you put not one, not two, but three batteries on a blower. <laughs> Fortunately for him, Echo did just that, and as you'd expect, it blew a lot of leaves and then opened a portal to another dimension, slowly dragging everything we know and love into a lift of Well, that took a dark turn. Jeesh, Echo, calm down. Ever wondered if flare nut wrenches are better than not flare nut wrenches? Oh, yeah. Me too! Todd clears it all up this week on Project Farm, comparing brands like Snap-on, Proto, Williams, Mac Tools, Crescent, Cobalt, Gear Wrench, Duratech, Milwaukee, and more. That's a lot of brands. Yeah, and like I said, and more. John Malecki took a break from recreating viral TikToks and buying crates of return tools from Home Depot to see how a full set of dirt cheap when tools would stand up against his beloved collection of Festool. For science, of course. Josh, as it turns out, never stops mowing his lawn because he lives with the rest of the PTR crew down in Florida. Must be nice. This week he took on his turf with the very latest from Ego, including their new commercial push mower and their new Ego tractor. TTC is once again torque explaining my favorite sport to me. This week they went to Japan with a set of paddock passes to get a first hand look at the tools being used to build and maintain the most advanced race cars in the world. Naturally, I spent hours digging through my email looking for my missing Evite. That's odd, I got mine. Hey, wait, what? Taylor has the new Bosch Compact Hammer Drill first seen at World of Concrete and is happy to report on the specs, bonus connect features, and performance. He also compares it to several other options in the Bosch family tree, but will that compact version be a good replacement for its brothers that came before? Watch his video to find out. Doc continues his quest for tiny tools. This week, he struck titanium. He found a six inch adjustable wrench that's perfect for everyday tasks without sacrificing a ton of space or weight. And yes, I want one. Tools and Stuff is back testing Milwaukee batteries this week because he just couldn't get enough the last time. This time he analyzes the new 6 amp hour forge against a few other options from Big Red, like a 6 amp hour and 12 amp hour high output versions in a variety of applications. The results are not going to be what you expected. Tim Johnson shows off Milwaukee's M18 flathead grinder. He demonstrates the difference in using a typical grinder versus this new slim fitting one, and the results are pretty cool. Clint got the same gray coat paint sprayer that we featured a few weeks ago, the Graco True Coat 360 Cordless Connect True Airless Paint Sprayer. 
you know, the one that's powered by your drill or impact. Clint really goes in depth over its features and even covers the setup and cleanup procedures. Rob and I just used ours to finish our third project and so far we can't get enough of that thing. As great as that sprayer is, we just got the Graco Ultra Quick Shot too and I haven't even opened it yet. Yeah, that's the pro sprayer, right? Yeah, so it's like this $1,500 like small project pro sprayer. It's supposed to be super amazing, but honestly the $180 cordless connect works so good, I can't imagine what the Ultra is going to be like. We'll have to give it a try. It's time again for a platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. This week, you can save $50 off a $100 purchase of anything from Bosch. It doesn't even have to be in stock. They'll order it. If it's from Bosch and it's on the Ohio Power Tool website, you can save $50 off a $100 purchase. But remember, the code will only work for the first 25 people, so you've got to be fast and be sure to be subscribed and ring that bell so you're here every Friday at 8. The code you need is TS48273. Good luck. I want to thank Ego Skill, Tested HQ, and Ohio Power Tool for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and Sarah and I will see you next week.